Hey guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to do a review on a LEGO Technic set that is 2015 and official retired. And this one has pneumatic system too. And it has a battery boss and a large servo motor. And exclusive to this set are brand new pieces for the pneumatic system version 2. Brand new pumps, you get four of them. So I'm going to start this review by actually moving them up to show you what happens when you move them up. The whole entire front of this truck tilts upwards and over to reveal the six cylinder end line that actually moves. There are doors on the actual set. And this set is actually called Mercedes-Benz Arox 3245. And this set retails for 229 at the time, but it's officially retired, so it might go for 300 more. And right off the bat, you see brand new pistons. All four of these are brand new, and then there's one underneath that pumps the air into these. And the fourth one is actually right here. It's just a little small piston that opens and closes the buck, the two exclusive buckets to the set. This piece and this piece right here are brand new to the set. There's three of them in the set each. Uh, Whoa, of course. These little gray pieces, you see four of them right here and four of them right here. They're exclusive to the set as well. This dump truck part actually lifts up to about that high. I'm not going to do it in this demonstration, but I'm going to release all the valves and just and take a piece off. Now to turn this set, it is not remote control, but it is, you can pump the air pumps up and everything. To turn this set, you have two fake lights that you turn to the left if you want to make the thing turn to the left. And you can actually turn to the right. And what's so cool about this system is, it's four-way steering on the front, just like the real one. And there is, let me turn around and hold on to it this time. There's an exclusive license plate right here. And LIGO has made a deal and made an exclusive Mercedes-Benz clip-on. And the same license plate on the rear of it. So I'm going to turn it around. And this Model B actually makes a flatbed truck. And you take this and put it on the rear of it. You have to completely take it apart to do that. So, um, and there's two more of these right here and right here for the booms. I actually had to repair them the last time I tried to do a review on this set. So I'm only going to put one of them down to show you what it does. This lifts the set up. And then you can actually get those to come out with the uh, power functions, but I don't have any batteries in the power functions right now. And this is one disappointing thing that I dislike about this set. There is a thing in between that I'm holding my finger on. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's a little tiny axle that comes with every single time. So if you got this set, you know what I'm talking about. And this last thing 
These tires are not exclusive for itself. You have seen them in the Mobile Cream Mark II. And this thing has suspension and shock absorber. So, it's actually pretty cool and does it completely on all four axles. And these little pieces right here are not exclusive. They're also on the Mobile Cream Mark II. And when you build this up, you build in the sessions, and then once you get all the sessions together, you put it all apart and snap in all these little tiny red pins. And pretty much that's how it comes together. It's pretty cool how they did that. And I would assume if you want to hook a trailer to this, there's a little two stud thing that pops out right here that you can actually hook like a mini trailer to it to tow something else. I don't know if they stuck that out for a reason, but it's like right here around right the end. And weight ratio is actually pretty balanced pretty good. Let's see anything else that's exclusive. Oh, and these mirrors, um, you see on the front. First time they're actually doing mirrors on an actual truck, as to mimic the real one. And I think that's about it. Besides this thing, it's huge and it takes couple days to build. I actually took like five to six days to build it. This thing was like technical. And this air pump system right here is a pain in the ass. Luckily all these tubes come pre-cut so you don't have to cut them yourself. And I had to do, I had to grab some kind of measuring thing to make sure I put the right ones in the right places. But overall, almost 2,800 pieces for $229 at the time. That's actually not too bad. And my next review will be a 40th anniversary. I've actually got it sitting right here, and the boss is right here. So I'm going to do that next.